It's on. Hello, my friends. This is Mike from Seawater Pro. We're going to break down the uh, complete water maker kit and what's included. We come in here from the ocean. The kit starts from the strainer with a half inch, uh, half inch NPT thread here. You can modify and adapt this to whatever size you want. We're coming through here. We go to the boost pump. We come out of the boost pump with a, with a line. We go to the check valve. The check valve points in this direction and this check valve points in this direction. So the water will not go this way. It will come down to the 20 micron, then go to the five micron. From the five micron, we come out and we go to the pump. And also from here, we go to the low pressure gauge. So we can see what comes out of the filter. What pressure is the water coming out of the filters? Because if the filters are plugged up, then guess what? We'll have a very low pressure reading. So we can identify the, the condition of the filter by looking at this pressure. Now we go from the filter to the pump. The pump takes 40, 50 PSI. Now pumps it up to 800 PSI with the high pressure hose. And we connect to the input side of the membrane. From the input side of the membrane, if you have two membranes, we put them in series. If you have one membrane, the uh, brine water comes out of this port, which is closer to the outside, and the center port, we get the fresh water. From the, the brine water goes into the panel and connects right behind the uh, uh, pressure regulator. From the pressure regulator, we go with the spiral reinforced, steel reinforced PVC hose overboard uh, that line is included it's about six feet 90 degree stainless elbow to the overboard this is a low profile overboard and then the fresh water comes into the flow meter goes through the flow meter out gets evaluated by the uh, TDS analyzer total solids up to 600 is drinkable according to the FDA and then from here we'll connect with a 3 8 tubing we go to our fresh water tank. And uh, one more thing here, here's the rinse timer. The rinse timer, we can set it for about three days to, a, to one week, depending on how warm it is, 10 minutes. And then we splice one of our lines, let's say the shower line, we just cut it, we connect our timer. So now we have fresh, fresh water under pressure going to the uh, to the rinse timer. The rinse timer, we can set it again for, like I said, whatever interval we need. It opens up, goes through the carbon filter. The carbon filter removes all the chlorine in case there's any chlorine in the tank. We don't want the chlorine going into the membranes. So now this check valve opens, this closes. It, the fresh water comes in, rinses out the 20 micron filter, rinses out the five micron filter, goes through here into the pump, rinses the pump out, gets all the salt out. Comes through here in the membrane, one or two membranes, it doesn't matter, it will rinse both membranes. We want to make sure this is all the way open. If it is not open, we cannot rinse. We have to have this thing all the way out to almost where it falls in our hand. So now the water goes through, it rinses out all the everything here, including the pressure regulator, and it goes overboard. And uh, when it's done, it shuts down. Or it runs on two AA batteries, which are good for two to three years, and it requires zero maintenance whatsoever. Now, as far as maintaining the pump, after the first 50 hours, we need to change the oil, and every 300 hours or once a year after that. When you get the pump also, remove the shipping cap and install the dipstick, which is a ventilated cap. It has a little pinhole so it can breathe. Don't forget to do that. And uh, uh, of course, we're gonna Teflon tape all the connections, 10 rounds, not five, 10. If you do five, you may have to do it twice. If you do 10, you'll do it once and it will work great. And that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, 954-800-8800. Thank you for watching. Thanks. So I can get yeah. this is where we go to the uh, fresh water tank mm -hmm. and we come in here we evaluate the water here okay
And then the two. Yeah, connect to the gauges. bottom and you come out from the top. And the top pressure gauge. Yeah. Okay. And on the 220 unit, this has a, a box here to protect it from getting wet. Uh, this is a 12 volt unit, so it doesn't have any, doesn't require any protection here. It's low voltage. Okay.